Today on Exploring with the Eggerts, we're going to head out to Sacramento and go look for edible mushrooms. Join us. Today we're looking for mushrooms. We're in Sacramento, exploring with the family. We're going to hike through Mississippi Bar. Looks like it. So here we are at Mississippi Bar looking for edible mushrooms. More specifically, the oyster mushroom. Yum! Now keep in mind, eating anything in the wild that you're not certain of can be very dangerous if not deadly. So definitely do your research and seek advice from a professional before attempting to eat anything in the wild. I think these are two different kinds. Because look this at this. Looks at look at the stem. Kind. Well, because this is this. Baby. Yeah, that might be the baby. Look at the stipe of it. How it's white with the um, oh, yeah, you're right. rough surface sort of looking. Yeah, that's kind of a brown with a smoother surface. We want to look at the base to see what. The base to see if it has a, a ball at the base, but it's kind of deep. Oyster mushrooms, especially those found in California, usually have gray to grayish brown caps, and they prefer to hang out on cottonwoods and aspens. They are an excellent edible for most people. Show us what you got, Ryan. Hey guys, is that an oyster mushroom? Awesome, now we got lunch. like a lot uh, lemon drop that's really neat looking and then I think this might be it opened Ooh, yellow that's lemons this is full of what'd you find Gary Okay, so we found these as well. Do you have, do you suspect there anything sp specific? That looks yummy. It's very white. I mean, like, why, oh, what do, why did you pull, or why did you expose well, we the bottom? we wanted to identify, to get a better identification, to see what kind of uh, the base is like. What is it called when it's like bell shaped like that? Bell shaped cap. <laughs> Some of the names are not too scientific. <laughs> what is it, Gary? An oyster mushroom. I think it's an oyster mushroom. Yeah. And those are the ones you can eat? Yeah. Oh, check this out. And it, let's look at the bottom. It's growing on a cottonwood tree. Is that what this is? Ooh, cottonwood? Yeah, that's what the other ones I found were growing on too. Oh out, you that is so cool. He found some <laughs> those things. You guys, so you guys are believing when I tell you that when I come out here, it's like <laughs> every time it's Should ooh, I squish crazy this? stuff. So no, two, I look at them. They too. are actually pictures. different. Look at the Let me do that. Take pictures of it, right? Ooh. Brown. Wanna flip it over? So my brother's thinking that this is one of those hallucinogenic ones. There's a couple in here. Got a brown stem. They're hiding. In case you want a trip.
I don't know what it is. <laughs> but you said it was the one that Gary pulled out yeah, and... Yeah, so I put a couple in the container there, but the chanterelles, the, the gills go down the stipe and these are dying into the stipe. And the chanterelles actually doesn't have gills like this. It's more like folds of the skin, sort of. Hmm. What did you find, Gary? Sure, it's kind of like a honey mushroom that we were thinking. It was a seaweed. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly the same. The mycelium is probably growing along this, this whole log. Mm -hmm. All these trees. Mm -hmm. What did you find there, Gary? Huge mushroom. Don't know what the identification is yet, but interested to see. There's like a worm that started eating on it. I found the worm, but it's gone now. What does it look like underneath? Eat it. <laughs> it's edible, yeah. Has a smell. Here's the tree it was under. It's the same thing. So when you're all done foraging in the forest, you bring back your specimens. And what do you guys do? What are you doing? We're gonna identify to make sure they are edible mushrooms or not. Go from there. And how do you identify them? Well, look it up in the book. Look at the different characteristics. So are any of these specimens already identified? Uh, nothing for sure. Although I believe these are oyster mushrooms right here. We're going to confirm that. Okay, so now we're cooking them up. What are you cooking there, Gary? Uh, oysters, yes. Just oysters, like from the sea? <laughs> oh, mushrooms. Take a look. Mm. Dinner. Oh, is that what you want to do? Yeah. Then we'll put some, we put some in the pan and get the moisture, try to dry them out somewhat. And then when they're a bit drier, then put some butter in there. You're not gonna live? I don't know. I don't know, let's see you eat it. I just ate okay. one. I don't well, believe we've it. Already, we've already eaten several. I like Here you go. I no, know. I gotta see you eat it first. It's really chewy. Well, yes. Yeah. Some, are, really some are, some are. So Here's they're a, about to eat their some mushrooms. Some of the flowers I got are, are really yeah, crispy. Right. Try that one, that one's the best one. Mm -hmm. The cooked one. Really cooked one, I mean. There you go. So what is it? Tell me the flavor. What's the first? It's good. Yeah? Mm. Oh. To die yeah. for. It's chewy. What's that, so Gary? Weird. To die for. How are mushrooms equating? Okay. It's now this one right here. Why that one? That's really, the thin ones like that are a little bit crispy and they taste really good like that. Well, that was fun. I was surprised how good those mushrooms were. Yeah, they were really good. And actually, that was my first mushroom I had ever gone out into the wild, found one, and then brought it back home and had the guts to actually eat it. I was a little scared. Yeah, and we lived. <laughs> yeah, and we really hope you do too. So please, if you ever go look for edible mushrooms, make sure you know what you're doing. Bring an expert, read the research books, do a spore print, and better yet, send a picture to your local mycology society because they could really help you out. And you don't have to have fine edible mushrooms to have fun. True, you could just probably just slow down and enjoy all that this earth has to offer. You'll find some amazing things. Yep. So see you next time on Exploring with the Eggerts. Bye.